Hey friends, Racer Reed here. Today's video I'm going to show you how to do something that I'm hoping will help you prevent your bike from popping like a grenade, and that is changing out your cam chain. It's not an expensive part, it's not hard to do, and it only involves a couple of things that you kind of should know how to do anyways. Popping your flywheel, it's really easy to do, self-explanatory, I'm not even going to go over that too much. And setting your timing, which I will make a separate video that focuses on that and it'll be in the description. Something else that'll be in the description is my video on how to put these KX250Fs in dealer mode and it will get either their light that they already have or light your rig up to flash out any error codes and tell you what you need to replace instead of having to do a bunch of Swaptronics. But if you like these videos please share, like, subscribe. I'm not monetized. I'm trying to get that way and if there's some interest shown, I'll continue to make a lot more tutorial videos and we'll even make ones that you request. And hopefully we'll all help each other save a lot of money on things we can do ourselves. Um, so stay tuned. This isn't a video on how to pop the gas tank. This is a video on the cam chain and we're going to jump right into that. Okay, so we've got the tank off. Got the oil drained. You can leave the coolant alone. And the first thing we need to do is get this thing at top dead center because that's the basis of when we set timing. And what you do is, you come down here, remove these little covers, they're usually colored, remove those. This controls your flywheel, that's what holds your flywheel on. And on your flywheel there's a little black line. And you want to make that black line line up with these lines right here. Now it's in there and lined up, and even in person, even in person I can barely see it. So I doubt you can on the video. But that's the bolt you turn until you get that little black line lined up there. Now, I have already taken the bolts out. And you could just tuck that right in there. Oh, worked better earlier. And here's the flywheel. Now we pop this flywheel already. But with the flywheel puller, you just take that off, it threads on there, and then you turn the center nut, it pops it off. This is your flywheel. And top dead center. Alright, next you want to come up top here and pull your plug. Stuff it out of the way. I'm going to take out these two here. Taking this off should be nothing you're afraid of. This is something you should be comfortable with doing. And we're just gonna bring these out. When we're reinstalling, make sure you torque them right. And we're gonna pop this thing off. All right, one of the main things that'll commonly go out and cause oil to come out of your side hole over here right there where my fingers touching is this little o-ring right here and yeah, mine is bad I can see it's flat kind of pinch looking in a spot you know I'm gonna be nice and round and just taking that off there pop a new one in we'll fix that oil coming out of that hole there so keep that in mind people also don't lose track of this now for cam chain replacement we have head cover off and you want to pop your flywheel. I've already got mine popped to the top dead center already just so we know where we're at but that's going to change you know we're going to have to reset the timing. And now we have access. What I still need to do is I'm just going to back her on out. And there is really you can just take the whole thing out in the beginning. I'm not a professional. I'm gonna take the here's my tensioner. And just slide her right out. And before you put her back in, push that out, reset her. Okay, so I've got all the 
bolts for the cam cap loosened. And once again, you want to orientate yourself one last time with where your timing's at. If it's already set, maybe take a photograph. These dots here on the cams level with the metal, not the gasket, the metal. It's almost like they're below the metal a little bit. It's almost like these are a little forward, a little back. Orientate yourself. Then you pop cam cap over. And when you do it, underneath here, there's these little metal half moon pieces that keep the cams from moving back and forth like this one is. So this one's missing one. Careful you don't lose those. And then we pop this thing up. Sometimes it comes right up. Sometimes it's more difficult. And I just keep it all together. This has one. And yet it's moving back and forth. Okay. So that's odd. Okay, with your cam cap off. Interesting note. Bad cam on this one. Got to replace that cam. Shouldn't be moving back and forth like that. That right there should be solid like this up here should all be one. So, once you get the cam cap off. Alright, so I got my intake cam out. Exhaust cam. I've already gotten the little guide metal pieces out of here, so I'm not going to drop those. Nothing else loose in here. These pins here, make sure they stay down in there too. You don't want to drop anything. But other than that, you're pretty safe in here. It's probably easier if I take that out. Okay, that's it. Got to take this out too. And that'll allow me to get the chain off. That's your keeper. Okay, so these guides, this one here is actually locked on by the head. So don't try, don't fight trying to get that out because that only comes out if you lift the actual head off and then it just slides out. So don't frustrate yourself there. The chain will just slide out without these guides coming out. And then you can just slide the chain off there. Release it from up above. And just let this chain come on up and we will got my new cam chain here giving her a nice little oil bath I let her soak a little bit too I don't know if you're supposed to but it just feels right and all we have to do is drop her on in well, in between the guides and then I will just stick a screwdriver to hold her while we finagle her on. Mm. So I have. She is on, and I nearly reinstall the keeper. Okay, after a couple days of waiting for this new cam to come, I've got her in. I even replaced the cam chain here. New cam chain is on, and making sure she's still at top dead center the piston at top dead center what I like to do is just take the spark plug out and I put a screwdriver in there and it'll tell you the up and down movement of the piston right and you can see when it's definitely at the top and right in between the play of it moving up and it moving down that's top dead center that's right where you're setting the timing at top dead center come down to here each cam like when we took it apart dot here 12 o'clock on both 
and then three o'clock and nine o'clock. The important one is the dots lining up with the metal. There'll be a picture I'll put, but that little dot on that side of the cam there and that dot on that side of the cam there, you want them lined up with the metal, not the gasket, but the metal below the gasket. And then these up here should be about 12 o'clock. And then you're good. That's your time and set. Next thing we do is we put our tensioner in after we get our cap on. Get our cap on. Tensioner in. Flywheel. We're putting her all back together now. So she's good. That's as simple as that. So we'll keep moving. Okay, so she's in there. Don't forget your dowels. I got one. So once you got everything set up as far as the cams in the proper position for the timing don't forget these little c-clips don't drop them either they go right on top of the cam and they're pretty important they're going to keep the cams from moving where they shouldn't be Put your cam cap down in there. There's our bolts. They've got numbers on them. That's the order you tighten them in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, Cowie's pretty good. They got your back. So, you're going to need to look up your own torque specifications because. I don't want to give those out because they change between bikes. But once you got them snug down, just torque wrench out, torque them to the proper spec. Okay, now I'm going to reset my cam chain tensioner. Push her in all the way. Stick her back in her home. Reinstall the cam chain tensioner bolt. And as you install this, you ought to hear it clicking out. All right, now we're going to put our flywheel back on. Cleaned up, real nice flywheel. Don't forget your little shim guide there. Just put the bolt on and send her home. Pops her right back on. See if I find that bolt. Okay, and that does it for up top. Don't forget this seal here under your head. I need to replace mine. If you're leaking oil, there's a seal here and down in there. That's your culprit. If you're leaking oil out of this little hole over here on the side. I've got everything back in place. Alright, she's all back together. Let's see how she starts. I'll take it. 